$100,000 you've chosen to keep for yourself? The F-Boy Island finale shocked us all. F off. But we're still wondering, did the winners actually find real love or were they just players in it for the cash? We loved watching Nakia, CJ, and Sarah sift through the 27 self-proclaimed nice guys and F-boys to find the man of their dreams. Even though one left the island with nothing, scammed by an F-boy, others walked away with both money and love. But did their romances really last? We should check back in with the cast and see what's up. By the way, spoiler alert, we're going into juicy detail of what happened during the finale, so if you haven't caught up yet, you have been warned. Nakia and OG Jared Nakia took a chance by choosing self-proclaimed F-boy Jared even after seeing how that kind of risk ended up for Sarah. Luckily, he reformed himself and chose to split the $100,000 with Nakia. Nakia, an LA-based singer-songwriter, kept an eye on fitness trainer Jared from the very beginning, and they managed to form a real connection even after Jared revealed that he originally came onto the show for money. So Jared entered the competition as an F-boy, but meeting Nakia made him change his ways. He even claimed that he was falling in love with Nakia, although F-boy-like comments he made in private to the guys kind of contradicted this earlier statement. Are the two still together, though? Mm, unclear. They don't seem to be following each other on social media, which isn't a great sign. Maybe distance is a factor for their split, since wrapping up on filming, Nakia has returned to LA and Jared has returned to Miami. They're both friends with their fellow F-boy island castmates, so at least they have that experience and mutual friends to bond over. They're there was a weird moment, though. On August 13th, OG Jared briefly appeared on Nakia's Live, and there seemed to be some tension. I got one more surprise for you. I bet you I know who it is, dude. Don't play with me. She was FaceTiming with Colin, but when Colin panned the camera over to Jared in the back seat, Nakia pursed her lips and said, I don't think I know the we gotta say, it was pretty awkward. Our gut tells us that they're not together. Nakia told E, it's like their F-boy ways have turned up since the show. You think they would have changed, a lot of them, but I'm not naming any names. Some of these F-boys are still F-boying, and that's for sure. We wonder if she's referring to Jared. CJ and Jared we have to admit we were rooting for CJ and her F-boy beau Casey for most of F-boy Island right up until it was revealed that he made those disrespectful comments about CJ behind her back to Garrett. From then on, it was Jared all the way. For a while there, we couldn't help ourselves. CJ and Casey just had so much chemistry. CJ was immediately drawn to the Ohio native in the beginning, but things took a downward turn when Casey challenged CJ during a private villa date, telling her she wasn't going to control him like the rest of the guys. When it was his time to get booted off the show, he did not take it too well. He had an immature outburst and rudely proclaimed that CJ didn't deserve any of the guys there. However, Casey escaped from Limbro to fight for CJ again, although ultimately, CJ chose nice guy Jared. CJ was one of the girls on F-Boy Island who understood that changing an F-Boy into a nice guy is really a lot of work and not necessarily worth it. Jared was overjoyed at being picked and said that this is the deepest relationship he's ever experienced. Even though we were kind of put off by his competitive personality earlier in the season, we love that he's been a nice guy from the very beginning, and none of the cast had anything negative to say about him when everyone was spilling the tea before the finale. But are CJ and Jared still together? CJ was spotted out on a dinner date with Tay Diggs, prompting rumors that she and Jared had split ways. But actually, yes, they are still dating. She confirmed in an interview that they are in a long-distance relationship. Are you and Jared still together? <laughs> we are. I'm practical. I know we met on a show called F-Boy Island, but he's a good one, she said. However, she's not thinking of things like marriage and engagement anytime soon. Marriage seems like a test, and I don't like tests. Filming wrapped in June, so their relationship is still fresh anyway, and the lovebirds are just focused on having fun and getting to know each other better. Even though they're long distance, he still visits CJ, so they do get to see each other in person. Congratulations to the happy couple. It turns out that F-Boy Island's love experience Experiment might really work after all. CJ thinks other dating shows like The Bachelor need to evolve to be more like F-Boy Island. She told a TMZ reporter, we want to see what's real and what's real is F-Boy Island because that's what we're out here dealing with. Sarah. 
Of course, Sarah and Garrett are no longer together after his ultimate F-boy move at the finale when Garrett decided to take the $100,000 for himself, well, at least before the producers swooped in and gave it all the way to charity. And now the reigning champ of F-boy Island, Sarah's charity. Oh, man. During Sarah's journey on the show, the social media manager had two major contenders, nice guy Josh and F-boy Garrett. While Josh was consistently kind and not problematic, Garrett gave off red flags right from the jump. But even following the allegations that he had a girlfriend back home and that he had made rude comments about her body, Sarah still chose Garrett. This backfired, as Garrett quickly broke up with her and said he was only there for the money. I'm gonna have to end this relationship. And I'm I'm gonna take the money. Yikes. Sarah has since defended her choice to choose Garrett, tweeting, The bottom line is, I chose to see the good in someone because he proved he wanted to change, which is the experience of many girls I know and many could probably relate to. She follows neither Garrett nor Josh on social media and we assume she's single. Since the show, Sarah has been living her best F-boy free life. Judging by her Instagram, she's been catching up with her friends and developing a close bond with her F-boy island sisters, CJ and Nakia. Garrett. Wondering what the show's villain is up to? Well, he's actually still trying to bother Sarah. He told a TMZ reporter that the lines of communication are still open. I definitely want to have a sit down with her and hash some things out, he said. Apparently, there was a cast party recently where everyone in the cast saw each other, so they exchanged some words. He revealed that he's happy the money at least went to a good cause. His F-boy status isn't quite helping him in the dating department, though. He admitted, I think Sarah and I were the perfect case study of what you don't want a guy to do to you. So some people see that and think, I'm gonna stay away from you. Fun fact, during the show, the guys had no idea who was snitching on each other, and it caused tension among the contestants' bromances. However, even through all that drama, he and Casey are still best friends. He posted on Instagram a photo of them with the caption, you hold me accountable to be a better human, and for that, I will always have your back. How sentimental. Even if they didn't find love or money on F-Boy Island, at least they have each other. Garrett's also been spotted hanging out with the stars of this season's Too Hot to Handle, so he's been socializing with other reality TV stars and definitely enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. Casey what about Casey, aka the pretty boy assassin, you might ask? His dream of living with Garrett is actually coming true. According to Garrett, Casey is going to stay with him in LA for the next month or so just to get his feet wet. Really, Garrett cannot stop proclaiming his love for Casey. Garrett gushed in an interview, he reminds me of my little cousin. He's like the one person I would really do anything for. Is it just us, or is the Casey-Garrett friendship the strongest connection to come out of this show? It's unclear whether he's dating anyone right now, but we feel like he's probably not looking for anything serious anytime soon and seems to be enjoying LA with his true soulmate, Garrett. What did you think of the season finale of F-Boy Island? And are you surprised by what the cast is doing now? Let us know in the comments section and make sure to like and subscribe to The Things Reality to stay up to date on all of the latest and greatest in reality TV news.